welcome everyone! In this video, I'll be showing you a week in my life as a full-time artist. At the start of the week, I had a commission to do. It is an 18 by 24 acrylic on canvas with the two portraits that you see there and it took me about 12 to 15 hours to complete those hours were broken up across three different days so yeah the priority this week was finishing the commission and let me know what you think of it in the comments below and i also worked on some other things this week that you'll see in the video Now that the commission was done, I wanted to prep some panels for my oil painting. So for the oil panels, I use masonite board that I got at Lowe's and my dad helped me cut it. And basically today what I'm going to be doing is gessoing all of them and I'll show you how I do the third coat with pumice stone. So this is the masonite board that I picked up from Lowe's. I'm sure you can find it at other hardware stores, but I will link the one that I purchased below. So me and my dad did a lot of different sizes from the one 4x8 sheet that I got. We did 8x8s, 8x10s, 11x14s, 12x16s, 16x20s, and I had only two scrap sizes that were left, and I just used them for um, landscape studies. So when I gesso, I do three coats on the panels. The first coat, I just go in whatever direction and let it completely dry. And then with the sandpaper that I showed previously, I sand gently the first coat. And then I put a second coat of gesso, but I go in the opposite direction of the initial brush strokes. And then again, let that dry, gently sand that down, and then for the third coat, what I do is I add pumice stone into the gesso. So for every one cup of gesso, approximately, I'll put like a tablespoon or two of the pumice stone in. And then once that coat is dry, I don't sand that. And the purpose of this pumice stone is simply to provide some tooth, so to speak, or texture for the oil paint to grasp onto because the panel surface otherwise would be very, very smooth and it helps kind of grip the paint. So I actually ended up running out of gesso here, but I got most of the first and some of the second coats done on the panels. I went for a walk with the dogs and ended my day there. So today I'm heading to a local art store to pick up some gesso so that I can finish my panels. After the art store, I went to the local print shop to make prints of some of my acrylic paintings that I display for sale. And after I finished up making the prints, I went to a local gallery that has Hudson Valley artists and there was beautiful oil paintings, pastels, prints, and yeah, check it out.
If any of you are interested in buying some of these artists' work, I will link the gallery website below and then you can contact them through there. After I got home from the print shop and the gallery, I ended up finishing the second and third coats on my panels. So this was the gesso I ended up getting. I thought it was a pretty good deal. It was like 20 bucks for that big tub. And then, um, yeah, so what I'm showing you here is actually the gesso mixed with the pumice stone. So you can kind of see the texture of, oh, dog hair. Um, but you can kind of see the texture of the pumice stone and what it does in the gesso. I picked up this plastic container at like Michael's or something for 99 cents, but they're good to have on hand. I just mix it in there. So I'm not sure if it's exactly a cup, but I just judge it based on the texture. I will link this down below. I had a very difficult time finding pumice stone at a store, so I just ordered it. So yeah, so most of this day was kind of being out, picking up a few things at the store, and then I just took the rest of the day to finish up my second and third coats on the panels. I also picked up this paint marker at the art store before, and I'm excited to try it underneath as my drawing and then put my glaze over top. So it is a new day. I went out again. I had to go to Michael's and pick up a few things. I try to stick to going to my local art stores to support small businesses, but there's just a couple things that I needed to get there specifically. So I ended up picking up another storage cart because I wanted one for all of my acrylic stuff and I wanted one for all of my oil stuff just to make things more organized and kind of help my workflow. Since the commission took up majority of the week this week, I ended up taking the end of the week to go to the store, pick up things that I needed, and prep the panels. So this is what the paint marker ended up looking like with my little glaze over top, and I like it. I think I might try out a different marker brand, but I like the technique. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Check out my Instagram for more of my work. And I'll see you in the next one.